So now that we're ready to start climbing, first thing I want you to do is tie in, like I showed you in previous videos, using that taut line hitch. And then take your gut line, which is a short line that you can buy at Fremkins or Northeastern, and put it around the tree, back to your waist, and set a spur in there. Now the amount of pressure you use to set the spur, it's going to be trial and error. Softer woods might require less pressure. Rotted woods might require more pressure. The idea is you want to use just enough pressure so the spur stays put, but not so much pressure that it's hard to pull out. And that's just practice and trial and error and, and getting used to the spurs. So I set that spur in, spur in and then the other one, and I move the gut, the gut line up a little bit, and I tighten up on my climbing line for safety. Because as you start using the spurs, you're going to see they'll kick out on you. And as long as you've got a safety line going up, you should be okay. Of course, you never climb anything all by yourself. You always use the buddy system. You always have somebody there in case something does happen. Take a step. Keep your butt away from the tree. Keep your shoulders close. And just walk right up the tree, moving your gut line tightening up on your climbing rope as you go. Lean back on your gut line, tighten up your climbing rope. And that's it. I'm going to use this method to get up into the top of that tree, and then we'll figure out how we're going to dismantle this. Tune in next week. Check me out on ropesriggingandtrees.com or Facebook under the same name, Ropes Rigging and Trees. Thank you.